To take the wheel of a rocket Oldsmobile With the rocket engine and whirl away It's a driver's dream come true Right here in Detroit, we live in the automobile. I, I was astounded when they let us go down the way they did. They, they almost let Chrysler drown. When it started, America was unprepared. From across the ocean they came. Little cars, determined to change the buying habits of a nation. And for a while, there was no stopping them. tell you the truth. A Volkswagen did not really cut that deep. But they were the start. You know? They were the only one at that time. Well, what the yeah. hell, yeah. But I mean, as I say, that was the first real yeah. import. They've always had Rolls Royces and uh, goddamn uh, Mercedes, but they didn't do a nothing uh, to hurt our class. market, you know. Yeah. Uh, hey, we, we controlled the whole market of the, of the world. We were, we were the car producers. Certainly they were hurting. Yeah, You're damn right they were. They were they were out of jobs. They couldn't find a job. Chevrolet stands alone. See the USA. There was no way they could. I'm talking about skilled trades person now. Here in the Detroit area, when these automobiles plants got cut down, that ended every Hey, I've got kids, you know, and son in laws and something like that. They cannot find a job. I had a son who went to Houston. My other son went my my son in law went to Houston. My son went to Houston. They went all over the world trying to look, I mean, all over the United States looking for a damn job. America there was none to be av available. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. We're going to keep losing until somebody wakes up and stops it. Because they, they got to start buying America. That's what they got to do. The state bank account over a billion in the red. Industries pulling up stakes faster than you could say single business tax. I've had enough of 82. It has to get better. And so it must be. For Detroit, 1982 was the year the recession became depression by proclamation of Mayor Young. He declared a hunger emergency in the city. Officially, Detroit's unemployment hit 17%. Half the people in the city on some kind of government assistance. We had 3,000 people in our place. I think and they, they cut them down to uh, a thousand or something. under 1,000, I think it was. So they hurt many people some guys people are off for long enough they never did get called back choked by imports and fighting for survival the american auto industry and its army have targeted japan as a major source of its problems we are being shot at and shot up by the japanese who have the most protectionist economy in the world but some of those who hold up the specter of a trade war ignore is that we are already in the middle of such a war but only the Japanese are shooting. I said, if I were president of the United States for two months, I said, I'd fix the Japanese like they've never been fixed. I said, I would put a moratorium on automobiles. But many of their verbal bullets aimed at the Japanese government and car makers have strayed off course and are hitting home instead. I've been followed down the road by uh, hostile people screaming out the window of their car brandishing weapons in the window and everything else and uh, I've come very close on several occasions to having a uh, uh, serious confrontation where someone probably would have got hurt. We got Japs, Chinese, any goddamn guy in the world working out on our line yeah. and it don't bother us one bit and if they had all the Japanese cars, this is not a prejudice situation. We're, with the guy People get excited when they, when they talk about, you know, like I told you, I'd call a foreign car anything but a General Motors car in that lot. That's a foreign car to me, you know? I just mind my own business, but in light of how many people uh, go out of their way to antagonize people that look different than them, at least in this part of the country, it's surprising that uh, there hasn't been more than one Vincent Chin incident. Nikki Granberry is standing by in Southville with more. And Nikki, I hope we can assume that these cars do not have owners. That's right, Bev. The car you're uh, looking at... Is I've driven a Japanese car for years. I've found once a sign on my own windshield saying I hate people who uh, don't drive American cars. Uh, there were pictures, uh, in fact, a person who made a documentary about the Chin case 
uh, exploited those pictures of people smashing Japanese imports. They were so angry. But it's a quantum leap, a giant jump to say that you're angry at uh, Japanese imports and that you then hate Oriental people. box was sitting here back here you can see the mirror and the lockers where they would get ready for their dance generally the girls would perform three dances the first one in their outfit and the last two had to be topless you just don't walk away after you've killed a man I don't care for what reason whether it was a drunken brawl or whether it was for racial uh, uh, means or whatever. You just don't absolutely go and beat a man to death with a baseball bat. The next thing I know, while the other girls out dancing, we hear boom, 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 you know, and we run to the stage to see what's happening. She's coming off the stage. You know, we go, what's up? And we look out, and I see guys are fighting out there in the club. I was walking down the street uh, from my girlfriend's house, and uh, I see some guys across the street over there and you know one guy older guy was taking a young guy's head you know because blood was running down his face and I uh, went over to see if they need any help and they said they needed some help and they was gonna offer me twenty dollars to catch these Chinese guys that they got into it with so I said okay I said do y'all want to go to the hospital because it was right around the corner so we got into their car the father was saying you know, when we catch up with these Chinese guys, we're going to bust their motherfucking head like that. And as we got up to McDonald's, my father seen the two Chinese guys sitting down. And I told them that the police was there. They said, fuck the police. And which time they jumped out and they kind of shocked me. And because it's a predominantly 90% black neighborhood, and to see uh, uh, a male white get out of a car with a baseball bat, the first thing I was thinking that maybe it was a coming from the Tiger Stadium baseball game. Mr. Evans and Mr. Nitz jumped out from behind the truck, attempted to grab Vincent Chin, who they cornered up in the, the phone booth here. Mr. Nitz had to grab Mr. Vincent Chin in a bear hug while Mr. Evans swung a bat, repeatedly striking Mr. Chin. Evidently, Mr. Chin broke loose. He ran out here to the middle of the street, and he stopped. He slipped. Mr. Evans was standing over him with a baseball bat. He had it with both hands, and he was hitting him in the top of his head. He swung the bat as if a baseball player was swinging for a home run. I identify myself as a police officer. I showed him a badge and an ID card. I had my weapon drawn. I asked him to drop the baseball bat. He hesitated, at which time he eventually dropped the baseball bat. But at that particular time, the damage had been done. When we pulled up, we found that it was an oriental gentleman. His skull was obviously fractured. There was brains laying on the street. And uh, Chin was obviously in a fatal condition. He wasn't dead yet. He was semi-conscious, but you know, from my experience of being on the street for so long, the man was a goner.
Well, to be quite honest, I expected to go to jail. Uh, I pleaded guilty to manslaughter on that. Uh, I did just like anybody else. I, I went to take my licks because I, I, I thought, sure, I would go to jail. And uh, I was prepared to go, really, as much as you can be prepared for something like that. Uh, <laughs> And in what outraged the Asian community, both escaped a 15-year prison term. Instead, they were placed on three years probation and given a $3,000 fine because neither had a previous criminal record and both had what the judge called stable working backgrounds. The victim lingered for four days, which again, based upon everything, was indicative to me that they attempted to administer a punishment. They did this too severely in careless, reckless disregard of human life, which is what manslaughter is. And that's what they were found guilty of, and that's what I predicated my sentence on. Had it been a brutal murder, of course these fellows would be in jail now. <laughs> And right there on the front page was uh, um, coverage of that these two killers had received probation for killing a Chinese man. And I, I just felt all of the blood and feeling in my body leave me. I just couldn't believe that this had happened. And I was brought up to believe that if you do something wrong, you have to pay the price. And it didn't seem that you know, Vincent's life was valued very much. จะกินตัวสุนันเกาซิมเลี้ยงหวยยากก็ก้องว่าพลน้องก็กล้ามตัวพลสิเด้อมันโกยป้อนกินก็บังโอฟ้าไถนะมดกันบังยิกกลัว
The only thing that really bugs me is that the response, uh, especially from people in the legal community, has been that these things happen all the time. Sure, police uh, detectives don't even bother to ask people at the scene of the crime anything. I did have an opportunity to read the pre-sentence report, the, the psychiatric evaluation and so forth. And one thing I don't understand about that was that um, words like uh, Ronald Evans is a, a bigot, an extremely hostile person, um, has a, a long history of alcohol, alcoholism and alcohol-related problems. And it recommended, in addition to incarceration, that he receive detoxification and counseling for his alcoholism. With all due respect, Helen, I think you're being somewhat naive. 